my name is John Fisher, and I'm a broadcaster on a busman's holiday. And my story is about Canadian radio. And radio in Canada is a unique service of publicly owned and private radio. Bringing the nation everything from boogie woogies to symphonies, from Shakespeare to corn, and from soap operas to headlines. Behind radio, there's a great story. Behind that dial are the new wonders of the radio age. Behind that dial is a vast investment. Studios, large and small. Tubes and panels. Behind that dial are the policy makers. Engineers pouring over new developments. Producers rehearsing programs. Let's take that bit again. Operators at the controls. Fan mail readers. Men at lonely transmitter points. Music arrangers. And above all, traffic controllers, the experts who keep the lines clear. Linking Canada from coast to coast are thousands of miles of telegraph and telephone wires, which when joined are called networks. Canada has two transcontinental networks and over a hundred privately owned stations, all servicing the needs of Canadians. There's a third network whose programs are in the French language. To supply these networks, we must have programs. Programs which come from different parts of Canada. From the Maritimes, the music of Don Messer and his Islanders. Got my dancing boots on, got my Sunday best. Going to the barn dance tonight. Chamber music from Vancouver. From old Quebec, ici en chant. The trio lyric from Cosmopolitan Montreal. And from Toronto, that pearl of entertainment. So let, madam, will you please put away that knitting? You're going to have to applaud, you know. Now let's all relax, everybody, shall we? Nobody be nervous. About 10 seconds, stand by now. All set. Mark Kenny and his Western Gentleman. in radio drama. Is there something we can do for you, madam? Yes, young man, there is. For 50 years, we have been giving maritime satisfaction on prairie canals. Remember our motto, by and large, you go by barn. Don't be so enthusiastically commercial, young man. Oh, but madam. Miss, if you don't mind. I am an elderly maiden in reduced circumstances. Oh, come. I am a retired Canadian school teacher. Hello, CN. How she pays? Sit down, take a load off your road bed. Eh? So have a chair. Fred, I can't afford to. Oh, what's the matter? It's those cursed canals all over the prairie. Ever since those fool westerners dug them, nobody wants to travel by rail. They want everything out west. Why can't they be content with their past glories? They had a bumper crop, 1915. The best in radio drama in French. C'est atroce. Et c'est nous qui l'aurait tué tout aussi bien en cette place. Sa liberté reste un danger constant 
une menace pour vous, pour nous, pour tous. Quand j'y pense, des beaux vins pièces en or, hein. je dois bien en avoir un goût de cent pièces. C'est bien ça. C'est plus beau que jamais. Winnipeg's prairie schooner reminds us of pioneer days. from Montreal's Oscar Peterson. Toronto, a great symphony. Canadian radio means public service as well as entertainment. Special broadcasts from the nation's capital. Women commentators with hints for the home. Farm commentators dealing with markets. There were 52 cattle. Inspirational broadcasts direct from the churches. Debates on problems of the day. Experts before the mic linked with organized groups in the homes and town halls. I do indeed, Mr. Morris. I... Radio goes into the schools of Canada, too. Like a giant bulldozer, it levels the walls of the schools and brings the treasures of this age to our children. These atomic discoveries... The largest school of all is the one for the grown-ups. Here, Canadian radio reaches out and brings to the fireside the happenings of the day, the special events, the spring breakup, to hockey games. News commentators from the capitals of the world. This is the National News Bulletin. That world figures largely in Canadian radio. For every day, listeners can also hear British and American programs and continental stars like Charles Trenet. <laughs> La lune est là, 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 mais le soleil ne la voit pas. Faut la trouver, faut la nuit, faut la nuit, mais le soleil ne le sait pas, est toujours lui. Le soleil, on est vous avec la lune, mais la lune n'est pas là, et le soleil attend. Papa dit qu'il y a vu sa nuit. Part European, part American, sitting astride the skyways of tomorrow, bordering on the Atlantic, the Pacific and Arctic, Canada looks outward. For the high towers at Sackville, now carry Canada's story to the world. This is Canada, the international service of the CBC calling the world. Calling England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland. Calling France, Belgium, Holland, Czechoslovakia, Germany. This is Canada calling Mexico, the Indies, and all the countries of Latin America. This is the voice of Canada. An expression of Canada outside, an intimate link within. And that's the story of Canadian radio. John Fisher speaking. Good night. Good night.